It is never an easy decision to alter school operations. As a parent and school leader, I know the impact it has on families and employers and the community. I want to emphasize that we are unaware of any student or employee families with COVID-19. However, with the unknowns associated with student and family travel outside the continental United States and cruises over spring break, and with daily changes in guidance from healthcare officials on who should self-isolate, it is imperative that we take time to assess our capabilities to safely open our schools. Therefore, I am announcing that Duval County Public Schools will extend spring break for one week through Sunday, March 22nd. Again, I repeat, we will be extending spring break for one week through Sunday, March 22nd. There will be no school or academic activity next week with one exception. We have SAT testing planned at several high schools tomorrow and that testing will go on. We are requesting that any student that has flu-like symptoms or who has recently traveled out of the country to self-isolate and not participate in this testing. Appropriate cleaning before and after testing will take place in those testing areas. In addition to extending spring break an additional week, the following uh, changes will take place when we return to school. One, we are adapting our daily cleaning procedures to focus on frequent sanitation of frequently touched surfaces, including door handles, desks, and keyboards. Two, all field trips are canceled until further notice. Three, all large attendance events, including athletic contests, are canceled until further notice. We have asked any employee who has traveled out of the continental United States, including cruises, or student who has had close contact with another such traveler to self-isolate for 14 days. And we are reviewing leave procedures for possible accommodations for employees. We will keep our families informed about procedures for re-entry if they have traveled for any changes or changes to online or remote education that may occur after next week. Again, I want to reiterate that we do not or we are not aware of any cases involving our employees or students. Our concern is all of the changes that have taken place took place while our families were on spring break. And so out of an abundance of caution, we are extending spring break also to understand what is the ramification of employees and students and their families self-isolating, what ramifications will that have on the school district?